for yielding. Mr. Chairman, I want to associate my remarks with uh, my ranking, Mr. Lewis. Following the time-honored tradition of our defense appropriation, Chairman Dix and Mr. Young have put together in a collegial manner a solid product, the funding for defense operations and maintenance for the Afghan and Iraq security forces, for the Army base operations, the MRAPs, National Guard and Reserve equipment, and the other portions of the defense and military construction portion of this bill are worthy of our support. And if that's where the story ended, we'd be fine. But as Ronald Reagan famously said, there they go again. This legislation contains over $72 billion in discretionary and mandatory spending. Less than half that total, 55, $35 billion, is related to the ongoing fight against the Taliban and Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan, our withdrawal from Iraq, and the State Department funded related to the war on terror. The rest is earmarked for non-defense programs, new bailouts, and pet projects to ben the benefit the majority's political allies. I share the views of Mr. Lewis on the extraneous spending in this bill, $10 billion state bailout fund, $5 billion Pell grant infusion, half a billion dollars to, quote, forward fund accounts in the fiscal year 2011 appropriations bill, thereby freeing up money to spend on other activities in fiscal year 2011. The $245 million to allow the IRS to ramp up its enforcement activities. My colleagues, the majority just doesn't get it. This is Washington business as usual, as this Congress uses funding for our deployed warfighters, many of them in harm's way as we speak, to provide for more unnecessary social spending. My colleagues, I urge the adoption of a clean supplemental appropriation as quickly as possible so that our men in uniform can continue to do their important work on our behalf. And I yield back the balance time of my time. The time of the gentleman has expired.